Why eat healthy? Healthy eating is important for a lot of reasons. Most of us are already aware of the increasing obesity epidemic in North America. This is particularly true of the United States in general. There is even a phrase of the way many Americans eat, and that is called the SAD diet. SAD stands for Standard American Diet and refers to a diet low in vegetables, high in fat and sugar, and lacking in nutrition. Processed foods are definitely a part of the SAD diet. These are foods that are easily available and quick to consume and prepare, but have long-lasting negative health effects. If you do not want to find yourself obese, it is generally considered a good idea to avoid eating such processed foods and keep your focus on eating whole grains and fruits and vegetables and meat that has not been treated with hormones or other chemicals that can ultimately end up in your body and cause issues. Unfortunately, in North America, we are given a lot of options to slack off when it comes to preparing meals. We have so many things readily available to us, and the amount of money that you have to spend to buy bad food is far less than it is to buy good food. It seems strange that it costs more money to buy organic than it does to buy foods that will ultimately cause health problems in the long run, but that is the rule of supply and demand. Not only that, but processed foods are mass-produced and make a huge profit because of their convenience. That is why in many ways the obesity epidemic in North America is not particularly surprising. Nutrition is not number one on the list of companies that are attempting to cash in on people's laziness in the kitchen. However, there are many ways that eating healthy is important and good reasons to avoid processed foods and the standard American diet. For example, if you do not want to be obese, you should definitely look into the rest of this training for ways to improve your diet and begin a healthier lifestyle. Another reason to eat healthy is because you can make yourself prone to diseases by eating unhealthy foods and by staying on a standard American diet that is full of fat and sugar. Diabetes is something that can be developed because of poor eating and can oftentimes be treated with healthy eating. Type 2 diabetes is ultimately something that can be maintained and controlled with proper eating habits and triggered by poor eating habits. If you want to avoid these types of difficulties and complications, you should do your best to be conscientious about your food choices. Other diseases can result from poor eating as well. High blood pressure is common, as well as other chronic diseases. Osteoporosis is something that can affect many people later in life because they were not making healthy eating choices earlier on. You may find yourself suffering from poor bone health, hypertension, or even heart problems, all of which can be very demanding on your body and cause major stress that can ultimately be very dangerous. If you want to show your family that you care about them, you should begin making choices now that will help you to stay in their lives for as long as possible. Poor health is not something that only affects you. It is also something that affects the people around you. If they are watching you suffer because of poor choices that you have made, in a way, that is quite selfish. They are suffering too. Now, do your best to make the choices that will be the best not only for yourself, but for your family in the long run. This training will show you how. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.